else does the array numbers contain after the following code is executed? So we have our array declaration and that's all it is right here. We're not initializing anything. Well, we initialize it with a size of eight and we're filling in these numbers as we go through. So we're asked what elements does our array numbers contain after our code is executed? Well, initially after our first line is executed, we are just gonna have zeros in here. So we have one zero, two zero, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have eight of these, right? Cause the size is eight and they're all zeros. Now, as we go down, we are start going to, we're gonna start replacing these with our values because when an array is initialized without any numbers in it, they're all zero. So at index one, which would be this right here, we have four. At index four, we have 99. So zero, one, two, three, four. This should be 99. Index seven, we should have two. It's gonna be this back one. Remember indexes is just size minus one. And then we are going to have this variable X. So in X is equal to um, whatever element is at numbers one, so four. So X is equal to four. So numbers four is equal to 44. So index four is equal to 44, zero, one, two, three, four. That means you're gonna replace 99 with 44. And then we have this element, number seven, we know is two. So at index two, it's gonna be 11. So zero, one, this is two right here. We'll replace this with 11. We can press submit and we pass one out of one test. So that's how I would look at this problem numbers array.